Welcome to Tech Assembler and in this tutorial we will be implementing swappable tabs using iron slides and iron segment. So if you don't know the basics of iron slides or iron segments so you can watch my previous videos of those. So let's implement. So this is what we are going to make. This is our segments and this is our slides or you can say the tabs which are moving when we are changing the segments. So this is how even if you are just sliding over here the upper segment is also changing so how to do this and how to achieve this so let's begin coding a blank application and it looks like this so i just refresh it so it looked like this and first of all we need the segment iron segment so for that i use the iron segment template and this is how it works so by default it gives me the value of pizza and blah blah so i just remove it and i make it a little bit dynamically okay so how dynamically it works so let's see i have a <coughs> dummy uh, you can say the dummy segment list like this i have an array of uh, variables uh, uh, array of items you can say this friends and enemy so I use this uh, segment list okay so over here I use for loop so ng for and iterate item over iron segment list this is segment list okay and I just place this segment over this item over here and whenever you are just dynamically binding the items so you need to give it in a square bracket so this is called a property binding okay and just use this over here using interpolation okay and let's see it works or not mm, and perfect it works but it what it says the segment change is not a function so for now let's remove this segment change function and now it will not give me the error okay so this is how it works so but by default it does not uh, go on friends means it does not show anything selected so what we need to do is we need to bind it with it uh, dynamically from both the end selected segments okay or you can say the selected segment so I just copy this variable and I already make this variable over here what it does it just select the first element from the segment list okay and assign it to this variable and this variable bind it with the ng module and make it a default value selected in an segment button so this is whenever I refresh it just select the friends okay and it works like it so now one more thing that uh, we are not using over here like uh, ion change because ion change does not give us the index number okay it will give us the value selected but it will not return the index number so for that we will make a custom function over here like this uh, we make a simple click function over here and we will name it underscore segment selected okay so I just write segment selected I already made it over here okay so select segment selected I just replace it with this and what I will pass over here this item okay so let me pass this item and console it and here we are using two things that is item and the index number and let me also pass the index number so for that index number I have to give here a few things so this is let i equals to index for using the index number over here like uh, we give for loop in our, our ts file or you can say the logic file so you can also uh, just specify the index number over here also like this so by this you can get the index number and I will pass I 
uh, with item so and let's console it and see if we are getting the things or not I just console it uh, let's comment out this one and see the things is working or not so by default it is selected friends and then I will select enemies so enemies means so the index indexing start from 0 and then goes to 1 and so on so same here this is the 0th position of the array list of friend and this is the first position so 0 1 0 1 like this if we have another thing like uh, animal over here a new segment so it will give us this uh, value of index that is 2 okay so now what we will make we will make uh, one more thing that is iron slide because whenever we swipe uh, the iron slide and the segment will change or whenever we change the segment the swipe will uh, the slide will swipe okay so I use the default thing slides iron slide okay iron slide yeah and I just remove all these things and I have normal slide I just duplicate it so that you can see how slides look okay so this is a normal slide and inside this slide I use the card so that it genuinely look uh, like uh, something we are having over here so I just use the card full card okay so full card means uh, you get the header and the card content over here and I just remove this slide now we are having only one slide okay so you can see over here so we are having only one slide so this is the CSS which I already given over here that means the height of uh, the card and the height of the slide so you can see over here and one more thing that I need to give is uh, we are iterating this slide means we are making the slide also dynamically if we are increasing the segment from the back end so the slide must also be increased so for that we use the same thing ng for loop over here and what I need to do is this is the slide list and I need to iterate over this slide list so for that we paste this over here and let me just use item over here so that uh, it is commonly means or it is easily identify that the slide is of friends so you can see the slide is of friend and this is the enemy but whenever I change this the segment is not changing and whenever I am changing the segment the slide is not changing so for that we need to make a function over here so that is iron slide okay iron slide did change so this is the default function you can get it from ionic framework and just navigate it to uh, the slide so I just show you components and in components you just navigate it to the slides so where is slides is over here and this is the methods so can get sorry events so iron slide did change so this is the first event what we are using over here so this is the iron slide and I just give it a function and this is the iron slide and I pass the event over here so and I just I already made this function over here so whenever uh, I just comment out this so whenever the slides change 
uh, we, what we are going to do, get the active index okay for active index we need a reference of this slide so for that I use one ID over here that is slide so what it will do it will give me the uh, all the property of this slide so reference of the slide so this is how we can get the reference of the slide by iron slide view child and we already discussed about the view child if you don't know what is view child you can watch my previous video about the view child okay so this is uh, how we get the all things associated with iron slides and here we are getting the index current index you can see the active index okay so whenever I click so this is okay and this is one zero one zero so this is how it works okay now what I am going to do whenever I just swipe the slide I will, I will get the active index of uh, the slide for example when we slide to the next uh, slide we get the index like one and when we pass this one to this segment list we will get this enemy because it is at the position one of the index and we'll pass this enemy to the selected segment and this selected segment we have bind it with the iron segment and here uh, it will select the default or you can say uh, it will select uh, the enemy uh, segments so let's run and see so whenever I slide this so it gives me the one index and let me just console this also okay so console dot log and this so on sliding to the next slide that is here so I will get index 1 because we are moving from 0 to 1 and uh, the index key also so this is how and we are getting this segment list when we are passing one to this we are getting uh, this and by default we are making it selected with the ng model so this is how it works but whenever we select over here uh, the slides doesn't move so the same thing we will do over here also so whenever uh, we change the segment we need to pass the index number and here we used the this uh, slide we use the reference of the slide so we get uh, the default function that is slide 2 and we'll just move this uh, index value for example we are getting 1 so we'll move to enemies okay so and nothing to do with the HTML over here so whenever just I click so it moves to the enemy and over here this and the same thing over here so this is all about the swappable segments you can make or you can say the swappable tabs without using any third party libraries only using the custom uh, segments or you can say the custom templates of the iron